Hey everyone, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. I'm out and about today. I had to work. And I thought while I'm out here doing all this, do kind of a short little video. Now, in the past, I have told y'all, I'm not a news guy. I'm not gonna sit here and you know, report the news and all this stuff that's going on. There's other people out there that do that. I know it's important for preparedness. Being honest though, I'm not very good at it. So, I thought I would just kind of chime in and give my thoughts on some of the things that I've been seeing here lately some of the stuff that's going on and just kind of let you know what I'm thinking about the whole deal. One of the things I've been seeing a lot of videos on is the whole Carhartt deal. And as y'all know, Supreme Court said, you know, we're putting a freeze and everything on the mandates and Carhartt turned around and said yeah well we're going to do it anyway we're going to require employees to get the cheap milk or test in and a lot of people are talking about boycotting Carhartt now I've even seen a few videos where people have gathered up all their Carhartt stuff and thrown it away or even set it on fire. Now, am I going to do something like that? No, I'm not going to do something like that because even though I may not agree with what they're doing, that stuff costs money. And I'm not rich. So I'm not going to take stuff that I paid for and burn it just because I'm pissed off. Let's really be honest here. That's fucking stupid. Now, will I be buying more stuff from Carhartt? No, I won't. Even though I have been looking, once this came out, you know, I changed my mind and I'll be looking elsewhere to get stuff. But as far as the stuff I have right now, no, I'm not going to burn it. I'm not going to throw it away. Will I keep wearing it? Yeah, I will, because it's good workwear. Um, I may just go through and remove the little Carhartt patch from it. And that way I'm not advertising for them. But I'm not just going to altogether get rid of it, do away with it, whatever. You know, I spent money on that stuff. And getting rid of it's not going to put that money back into my bank account. And it's not going to take money out of their bank account. So, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, Y'all are free thinkers out there. You know, you have minds. You're your own person. You decide what you want to do. Um... If you want to continue buying Carhartt, that's up to you. That's your choice. If you don't want to wear the stuff that you have, that's up to you. That's your choice. I'm not telling anyone, do this, do that. I'm just going to do me. And I've said that since the beginning. You do you. I'm going to do me. 
and I just I don't see any sense in destroying something that I paid for it's not gonna you know magically bring anything back or change anybody's minds or anything like that so that's my kind of stand on that uh, kind of along those lines Starbucks went ahead and did away with their whole thing about employees having to get the sheep's milk and testing and all that. They did away with that. Which my opinion, a good choice. Am I going to go out and start buying Starbucks and drinking Starbucks? No, I'm not. Um, and it's not because I don't like Starbucks. I have bags of Starbucks coffee at home. But I'm not going to go out and I'm not going to spend $8 for a cup of coffee. I mean, let's get real here. I can go to freaking 7-Eleven or somewhere and get a cup of coffee for 2 bucks, Or... I can just make the coffee myself at home, and there we go. So, you know, even though they did change their stance on everything, it doesn't mean I'm going to rush out and start buying it and all this other stuff, you know. Now, kind of along with that, I really haven't said much about where I stand with the whole sheep's milk thing. Um, my wife, because of her job, she kind of works along with the military. And her job is telling her that she does have to get the sheep's milk. Is she going to do it? She's trying to find a way around it. But as it stands, she's probably going to end up getting it. And, you know, I'm not... I'm not going to dog her out. Or, you know, start some sort of family thing, squabble or whatever if she does get it because I kind of understand where she's coming from um, her being deaf even getting a job is incredibly hard once people find out she's deaf more often than not they won't even schedule her for an interview so it is hard for her to find a job and now that she does have one, she does like what she does. And she doesn't want to lose that job. So, I'll support her. And if she ends up having to, you know, get it, then that's just the way it is. Now, as far as me... My employer could care less whether I have it or not. Which is good because I'm not going to get it. And that's my stand on it. Not because I'm afraid of it or anything like that. I'm just not going to get it. And last week when I was sick or was it last week? Yeah, probably the week before when I was sick. I'm pretty sure that's what I had, even though I did not go and get tested. My son had to be tested because of school, and he was positive. I had the exact same symptoms as he had, 
So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So I'm kind of relying on that to kind of help me out, you know. Once you get it, your body starts, you know, doing its thing. And with that, you know, even if you do go and get the sheep's milk, the way it's going, it's not preventing you from getting the koofy or spreading it or anything else. You're still going through the same stuff. Now, are your symptoms and everything less? They say they are. Whether they are or not, I have no idea. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just not going to go that route. And with all that being said, this video will probably be taken down because I probably just hurt somebody's feelings or chapped somebody's ass. So they're going to report it and this will probably be taken down. But for the few of you that do get to see it, there you go. That's my thoughts on the thing. Now moving on to uh, something else that's changed is I was using that Shangri-La bag and I ended up swapping that out. I went back to my 511 push pack. The reason I did it is not because I hate that Shangri-La bag, but the straps and shit on it good lord man that thing is just covered in them and I know I could buy stuff to uh, hold them in place or move them out of the way or I could even cut them off but I'm not going to sit there and cut up a new bag just because I'm unhappy with some straps um, and with switching over to the push pack it's it's smaller and it's less tactical looking so with that bag I can actually carry it into grocery stores and place like that without getting a lot of crazy looks even though I really could give a damn less what people think or anything like that it's less of a hassle plus something that I am trying to do this year is minimize what I'm carrying with me um, just all these big bags of stuff and things that I'll never use that are thrown into bags I'm just you know, I'm getting rid of it. Um, shrinking things down a little bit. Kind of going minimalist, I guess you could say. And with that being said, I won't be getting as much gear this year as I did in the past year. I have a lot of stuff at the house that I haven't tested yet, I haven't used yet. And I really want to start getting that stuff out and testing it out, seeing how it works, seeing if it's worth even having before I go out and get other gear. Now, will I be stopping buying gear altogether? No, I won't. I actually have something coming. It's supposed to be here this up and coming Friday and we'll do a video on that. That's something that I've been on the fence about for a few years and finally broke down, pulled the trigger, and got one, but we'll get into that when that shows up. Now, something else that's going to be changing is the way I get my gear. Um, normally, I'll go to Amazon because they just ship their stuff really fast. You get it within a couple days in most cases. But 
I think starting this year, I'm uh, gonna start ordering directly from the factories, like 511. All the stuff I have from 511, I actually bought from 511. I didn't go through Amazon to get it. And it's nothing against Amazon, trust me. I probably keep Amazon in business, you know? Um, I get a lot of stuff from Amazon. But, I really don't want counterfeit stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been hearing a lot of things about some of the stuff people are buying off of Amazon. It's counterfeit. And if I'm going to spend my money on something, I want the real deal. So, with that being said, I will start buying from other companies. Um, LA Police Gear, 511. Um, I would like to start getting some military surplus stuff in. Sorry about the light. I'm driving around. So, but yeah, I would like to start looking into some military surplus. I found a couple good places to get military surplus. And where I live, I'm near a pretty big military base. So there's all kinds of military surplus stores right close by. So I may start hitting places like that too. Um, it just depends, you know. But like I said, uh, that will be a change. I'm going to be cutting back on the whole Amazon thing. And just going factory direct, I guess you can call it. Other than that, my friends... That's all I really wanted to say today. Just kind of chime in, give my thoughts, my opinions. You do you, I'm going to do me. So there we go. With that being said, I'm going to cut y'all loose. As always, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later. Bye, y'all.